great. So this is the first time you're on the show. I'm so happy because, um, and when you were, you had just done The Hangover when we were playing poker That's around right. that time. It had just come out and I hadn't seen it yet. And Portia and I felt so guilty because, you know, everybody was talking about it and, and <laughs> we hadn't seen it. But God, that's so, that's such a funny movie. Yeah. It is the all time uh, moneymaker on an R rated film, the highest grossing comedy ever of all time. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's incredible. And I don't, I, I, by the way, I don't lie. I don't lie in poker. <laughs> I watch. I heard what you said. I heard what you said. You, well, in fact, she's very scary. She's a very scary player. Because I remember when I would say, I would sort of put my bed, and then you said, is that what you're going to do? <laughs> and, I, and, literally, and she's so good. And I thought, yeah, well, I, um, I think, no? Should I not? <laughs> that, are you sure you want to bet that? Uh, you, remember, I mean, you were great. Yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was on a winning streak. She's a very good player. No, sometimes. Um, <laughs> now you have more money. We can play again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it's true. I like yeah. that. Now you have so much money. Right. You don't care if you no, lose I anymore. No, I don't care at all. I remember at one point you were going to belt your bet. You were taking uh, your, your belt. You were taking your belt off. Did I do that? I think so. I do that a lot. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Various uh, reasons. Hey, who are you going to spend Valentine's Day with? That's, uh... February 14th? Yeah, there's, there must be a my special mother, someone. My mother, my mother's coming into town tomorrow. Your mother, that's fantastic. Gonna be so it's just going to be you her. and your mom? Me and my mom. Uh-huh, nobody else? Yeah, we're just going to get crazy. Me and yeah. my mom are going to get nuts. Yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> indulge that's fantastic. in Valentine's Day. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't yes. get it out of you. All right, so have you had any horrible stories about uh, people dumping you, girls? Because that um, can't, you're too good looking. Nobody's dumped you. Oh, well, that's sweet of you to say, and very untrue. Um, I, yeah, I, I was, um, let me try, which one should I choose from the chest of being dumb? Uh, I was in Peru one time. I used to host this Trek show where I was, uh, I, feel, I, I apologize to the very nice woman who dumped me, because if she sees this, and she'll be upset. I'm but, sure she will see yeah. it. I'm sure she's sorry she dumped you now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was, we were in a relationship, and, and to her credit, I did say, you know, maybe we should just take a break and see what happens. And then I was in Peru, and I, it was uh, like 12,000 feet above sea level, and I wasn't, Sort of my, I hadn't acclimatized. I was on like an oxygen tank and my feet were raised. And I had this epiphany that, oh, she's the one. So I was trying to dial in this sort of hotel in Cusco and I got her. And there was a delay in the thing which made it even more embarrassing. You know, when you're actually saying something but then they can't quite hear you. It's like, no, I love you. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, no, I said I love, because I feel really good about it being separated. Oh, no, I just said I loved you, and it was awful. Uh, oh. Yeah. And did y'all get back together? No. 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 <laughs> no. Not at all. Oh, uh, God bless it. Well, did you have, because I found a picture of you in high school, and I'm just wondering, let's just show the picture uh -oh. of high school. Uh-oh. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, golly. Oh, and there's the playing yeah. tennis. Look at that. The Germantown Academy. Yeah. That's, I think you're, you're playing with me, because I think uh, that's, I think I'm on the other side of the net. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, you look great. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. That's Atlanta, Texas. Wow. They they are so That's they so had nice. no Yeah. Jeez, They're getting their fill of big stars today. This is, a, this is a surprise to them, so they're very excited to see you. You know, I realized I was here right before I started shooting A Star is Born. Do you oh, remember that? Oh, I do remember yeah, it, yeah. yes. I had the beard and the hair, and we were I talking know. about singing and yes. all that stuff. It was like, yeah. Yeah, and that's why I'm wondering where you have been. I mean, I'm just seeing you now. I know. It's I horrible. texted you right after I saw the screening of it. Yes. And said, what a great film. It's going to win all kinds of awards. And you did, I mean, first of all, your acting in it was fantastic. Your singing in it was fantastic. <laughs> you, directing that, like, what a thing to take on as a director, too, and then to direct uh, a film of that magnitude, and because it was, it, there was a lot going on. Yeah. In it. it was so good. Oh, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. I mean, it's... Yeah. and you were talking about.
I really, you were saying how scared you were to sing. In yeah. this, and it turns out you sing. You have a great voice. Oh, thank you. And um, because you were scared to death, and then you went to Coachella. <laughs> and uh, where else? You went to three. Went to Stagecoach, which was basically Coachella. Yeah, and then we went to Glastonbury, which was insane. Uh, and, but the scariest with the Oscars was pretty terrifying. The Oscars, I loved the way you did that, how you just Oh, good. Got I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. I thought that was so brilliant. Yeah, we didn't did one the, camera move. And, the, and the, they just yeah. pushed the piano out, yeah. and yeah. the two of you just got out of the audience. Yeah. It was beautiful. Oh, and I thought, how do you, as not being a singer, like to, to do that in front of all oh, of your peers? Oh, it was peers, crazy. You didn't look nervous, though. Good. I wasn't. I actually wasn't nervous, because I worked so hard. Um, I just worked really hard, and Lady Gaga is so supportive. But it was terrifying, absolutely, yeah, because I'm not a singer, and I and I didn't sing before this movie, so it was um, it was really crazy. It, but it, it was just it just shows you if you do work really hard and you're with supportive people that you can do things that you never even dreamed possible. Because I really thought the Oscar thing, I thought, well, this could be people will never watch the movie again if this is bad. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you know what I mean? Sure. They're like, oh, well, I mean, they can't do it, yeah. you know. So it was one of those things where it was like, it has to be great. Yeah. Um, so, and it was. Oh, it was it felt It felt great. Yeah, it was, it was really, great. Yeah, it yeah. was really special. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's honestly the only moment in the Oscars that I remember. Wow. I mean, that's how powerful it was. It really, it, it was it was beautiful. And I just oh, thought, thanks. just so raw and natural, and it was great. Um, and the fact that you never sang before, uh -uh. and then you're in front of Coachella and Glastonbury and, yeah. and all those places. And yeah, it was not, Glastonbury was great. That, that, yeah, that, that was insane, because that was in front of 80,000 people, and we just jumped on a stage for four minutes. And, and I didn't know, and the, think about the production value of that. So I, I actually built in, if people threw bottles at me and were screaming that his just descent would happen very fast in the movie. Because <laughs> I, I would still use the shot in the movie. But I thought, yeah, I didn't know what was going to happen. So that's how you shot it for the movie. You went to these festivals went and Went to those shot... festivals. Yes, that was four minutes uh, in between, right before Chris Christopherson, who actually went and played. He's the one reason why we were able to get on that stage. So the coolest part about that was I got to say, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Christopherson, after. And he was in the 1976 version of the film. So, wow. Yeah. And but I mean to be so you just did it the, that one take because it was two a, takes. We had four minutes. I sang maybe it's time twice. Uh huh. Yeah. And the audience loved it. Oh uh, well, must... they 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 couldn't hear it because we never played anything through the PA system. What? So, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> they they so you have monitors because we couldn't release the music before the movie came out. So you. So couldn't what were play they it. doing the whole? They, they... That's why you don't know if they're gonna throw a bottle at you because they're like, who is this you know idiot you know that I can't hear. Wow! Yeah. The only time they could hear us was at Stagecoach because the people were right up against the stage. So like the first ten rows could so hear the monitors. So for four minutes they're watching they're... you and Lady Gaga and they're all. No, just... no, it was just me. It was just me. It's even worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just oh, me. Oh man. Yeah. No, she didn't jump on any stages. I just did that. Because oh, if she did, people would have went crazy. Yeah, yeah. I did, it and they're like, they don't understand what's happening. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, way in the back, they probably don't even see you. No. They don't even know who you yeah. are.